Alright, so we've got everything all nice and lined up so that it fits the way we want it to. So the next step is to... Now we've got these little templates that were cut out because I needed to measure off where, where it was going to sit on the car itself. And there was a difference of about an inch on each side. So we've got 13 at the back and then 12 at the front. So what I want to do is have, because um, this back part is going to be on the head, like on the back of the chair, I want to have these 13 inch feet, essentially. Two back there, and then there'll be the 12s close to the top, just sort of tied in. So the nice thing is, once this sort of is in place, as this piece is supported, the back will be on its own, this piece will kind of be just sort of being able to fold up, but then it'll nest onto these two little feet that'll be providing the support as the back cushion is good. So that's the next step. <laughs> Essentially this piece, we're gonna gotta cut these pieces that are gonna like, so where the legs kinda go in, I need to cut, I'm gonna do like a little bit of a corner piece. It'll be one kinda going across the side, one on the bottom, so it makes it super secure and it's not gonna fold either way. So I gotta cut a bunch of those guys and then cut everything all together, drill them in a certain way, and then we can lay on the top part of the bed. 
perfect. And we're going to be getting so much closer. <laughs> so excited. Very much excited. It's going to be good stuff. Yeah. Okay. We'll get loud for a few minutes. So I got to do... We've been loud all day. I mean, honestly, it's... <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice because at least we've got a bit of shade too. That, yes. that always helps, especially in the sun. So you do one, two, four, eight, 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 Obviously, we bring them in. We'll make sure everything's dry. I'll do a wipe down just to make sure. But okay. I might just double check. Okay. Oh yes, yes.
So this will be the front one that goes, I'm going to bring about the front, the front garage, we'll see what this will be. Uh -huh. So we're kind of a building, it's called like a California corner. So you kind of like, similar construction to like when we build a movie flats, that kind of thing. So just, it's, it's a much stronger attachment. So you've got like a lower base thing where it sits, and then you've also got like a vertical. So like movement wise, it's covered on all four. Oh, right beautiful. Now, which is nice. But it's just like a nicer way of <laughs> building it, so you don't really have to worry too much about like things falling over or being in the way. Yes. Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> this is, that's, people get paid to do that. You know, it's like, you are Magali, the official actress of this incredible <laughs> DIY project. Well, almost DIY with a with a pal. <laughs> the uh, do it ideas yourself or doing ideas yourself with with, with help? Do it yourself ideas? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some, somewhere around there. Right? Ebb and flow kind of thing. Weird at times, it's still fun. <laughs> Weirdness adds, you know, character and some, some zest to life. Yes. done too for these guys so depending on kind of where so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them in we'll kind of figure out sort of where they need to sit I've created supports um, some other ones we can put in so wherever it kind of needs to go mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I want to break it. <laughs> um, so whether or not like you know we'll see how it's kind of going I'll probably end up throwing a support kind of along here to sort of like flat them. but I just want to make sure it's kind of sit nice where things are going to store because I, what I don't also want to do is like build it now and oh god i got to take it apart because now I can't actually get out to it so yes. plop in see where they sit have a couple pieces that screw into it and is that the decision that is, that is going to go inside the car? yes yeah. okay. so it would be like um, as it stands this will be uh, where my back uh, this will actually be on the, on the front one so oh, kind okay. of where the, the passenger seat was um, that little panel that I built is going to yes. end right here. Then it will carry over from there. Okay. So that's the first one. Oh, the book. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm filming. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it did support here. Oh, totally, and that was, that was, oh. already, that was already part of the plan. Yeah, because essentially what I want to do now, so I knew that pocket, like we were going to have um, like that front storage ready to go. Yes. But essentially all I need to do now, I'm going to check level, make sure everything's all good, and then essentially just build like a little foot that's going to sit, like a little C almost, it's going to uh -huh. sit at the back, and then that's going to provide the, the support. support that needs to be there. 
and then that's already got everything it needs. Perfect. I may need to shave just the, just the way it's sitting, like some of these feet are sitting. Again, because it's I've, I've cut them both at equal levels, right? So I've, I've done two at 13, two at 12. But again, we're utilizing the, we're using card, cardboard as kind of a rough map. Now that everything's cut, we've got everything set at the base where we want it to sit. Now it's just a matter of leveling off the tops, marking where it needs to go for being level. Yeah. And then we're pretty much there because it's, it's, it's so exciting. <laughs> But to give you, I mean, a rough idea anyways, I mean, it's it's a little bit tricky with the mattress not on top, but the rough idea is essentially going to be something like this. So you're going to have a handle that lifts up, again, keeping in mind that <laughs> yes. it's not exactly sitting right there, but that's going to be coming up sort of like that. So you'll have a perfect access to everything underneath. There'll be a storage unit thing underneath. Like, it, it's, it's going to be awesome. Yes. And don't worry about the mattress because regardless of the mattress, it's going to have to do it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to sleep on, on a bed tonight. Yeah. Thank you so much, you Sean. Are so Thank you awesome. so much, John, and not Sean. John. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's close. Yeah. <laughs> know exactly where that needs to sit, right? Yeah. And keeping in mind, it's going to be a little tricky because this has that hinge on there. Yeah. Even generally. Oh, look at how balanced that is. Now, and then if we do this. This is, this is more of a true one. That's well, let me see. pretty spicy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks really good. So, and it was literally just taking off that little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, it was a decent amount, but like it was because everything was sitting in. So the way I built the platform and the supports is you've got this flat brace on them. So I wanted to make sure that it was going to be able to sit comfortably on the, the floor, but the floor is uneven, right? So yeah. I needed to make sure that when I had that flat part in, that it had the support. But then on the top, I used this middle guy as sort of like our... You know, this is the one that I wanted to make sure is going to be nice and level, and then carry that over to the front. So then now when we're going, all I have to do is do a quick quick measurement now at the back, put those little supports in, and now we have a platform bed that's not Perfect. going there. Strong, definitely strong. Okay. Keeping in mind that. What? It's almost perfect. Well, and then even that's like just pushing it off. Oh, this yes. Part should still be good. Pretty close. It might be. A little bit to the left is, but. So down. Okay. But that's sitting. Perfectly on there now. Awesome. And then scooch that over like that. Okay. Sweet. And then essentially all we're gonna need to do, yeah, like with that little blanket at the back, just sort of where the chair. The main point is it's not going to damage the seat. Exactly. One of the things I wanted to consider too when we were building the back part of this, I, I knew I wanted to get the boxes in the front set, but then at the back, because the seat slopes so far. It's gonna be, it was gonna be kind of tricky to level things out and figure out where it needed to sit. Keeping in mind too, as you're driving, as you're going over bumps, any sort of rubbing kind of moving around is ultimately gonna scratch the seat, mm -hmm. right? So what I've actually done is I've built a little kicker at the front to accept all the weight. And then all that needs to happen now is just we're gonna roll up a little blanket and then tuck it in the back and then everything's nice and level. So essentially that, see where you can, on that level, you tuck the little blanket in there, and it's going to be exactly where it needs to be. But all the weight's going to be sitting on that floor. So we are pretty much ready to start connecting everything together and throw the bed on. Yay! <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is probably one of the, the last finishing touches of the entire project, um, but arguably one of the most important. This is kind of a final sort of get it set up, get it ready to install, but then noticing that you know all the edges, even while they could be routered, um, there's only so much the routing can do. And what I was thinking of is instead of using pool noodles where you'd still need to have, you know, you'd need to staple them and screw them together, I actually ended up using a little bit of pipe cover that actually self-adhesives. So you can see on this side, all I had to do is kind of figure out where I wanted it to cut and then mapped everything out, did a little, little bit of a corner cover, and then now you can start to sort of put everything back together, right? And then you've got this pretty robust system that every time you go to lift it and move it, you don't have to worry about it scratching the surfaces of anywhere in the car, which is awesome. So one more thing to add to the cool bill. Yay! Yay! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is precisely the sentiment. Yeah. All you do is... Yeah, and the nice thing about these self-sealing ones, which gotta be a little careful with them. Oops, of course, a little, maybe more a little bit careful with the garbage that comes from them. Uh, but the nice thing is, too, they actually stick really well. So, you know, using it at home, if you wanted to uh, have a little bit of a barrier for kids, or even when you're building building something like something like this, you know, it kind of instead of having to use staples, which could potentially, you know, pull out over time, or even have like a sharper surface, you know, this kind of allows you to self-adhesive it to pretty much anything, which is awesome. And then again, you just sort of come down here and kind of cut that corner, and then it's stuck down. So just one more, one more level of just sort of protection, making things aren't, making sure things aren't going to, uh, to scratch any surfaces. So this part's going to be a little bit tricky. So I've got, got kind of a, a little bit of a, I don't know, we'll have to see how things go. It's, it's, this is the handle for when it kind of collapses and opens up. So I want to see if I can match that contour a little bit, even just slightly, and then follow it along. So it'll be one whole strip. So we'll see what happens. Let's try it. What's the vacuum too loud? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 think I, 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 I was talking, I think, loudly enough anyways for it. What's that, sorry? I need to remove the blanket. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Bottom, right? What's that? Oh sorry? no, this is the top. This is the top of the bed. Uh, but, 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 hang on. Yeah, because you lifted like this. Oh no. Wait. This is the bottom. Bottom. Yeah, I was gonna say like I think I think <laughs> it's the bottom. Oh gosh, I hope I it's the bottom. I still don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like next year when you've used it. Be like, wait a second, I took it out of storage again. Which is the top and bottom? Not, yeah. Almost gotta want to do a, a little, uh, a little quip and just writing like, and even in a small like, bottom. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Yeah. It's a good thing we wrote it down there all those all those months ago. <laughs> now there'll be no way I can forget. Oh dang it. Then I didn't read. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> That's where the, the actual too long didn't read thing comes in. And it's, well, it happens every day, all the time. Oh, that's right. I was going to notch. Yeah, I'm going to notch that. There's two small things. Had some little little chippies. Okay, there. good. Let's see. I think we're probably gonna be using one of these. That's looking good. Good. This guy is going off of you, so you need to be up just ever so slightly, and that's where that little piece of <laughs> Billy is like, what are we doing that much there? I don't see anything changed. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about like sixteenths of an inch here, guy. <laughs> Come on. No one to stop. <laughs> Never, Billy. I never know when to stop. Never really. <laughs> you should know me by now, friend. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. Oh yeah, that's... That's leveled? That is very spicy. Beautiful. Okay, and then this guy... So this is where... So that's good. I think it's maybe just... Oh yeah, because that still definitely needs to just be like a little bit higher. That. So, yeah. By the time that nests in, you got it. <laughs> oh, you got it! Woohoo! <laughs> we did it. That's good. <laughs> That's uh, pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah, these are going to be the little, kind of the last little finishing structure touch. So these guys are going to go along the sides of those two little boxes that were made. So these will kind of hold everything together. So when you're driving, like obviously you're not going to be laying down when you're driving, but just in general, when, if there's any sort of movement along, these are going to tie everything together. It's one last little final structure of kind of making it so it's going to be nice and secure the whole time. And now they're done. Got the screws in, pretty much ready to throw in. Beautiful. The only other thing, I might need a little bit of an offset board. I'm going to close this because of the wind. Just do a little block. Oh, you can open. I just closed it because we were there. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm just seeing, because kind of, the way it's going to sit, I need it to sit flush against it, so I'm going to throw this in there. It's just kind of one little last one. Okay. Many little last ones. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, buddy. <laughs> keeping, keeping protect the things, you know. Making sure the UBS drivers don't uh, don't deliver. Don't, don't get well exactly. <laughs> don't get any ideas about delivering because at the end of the day, who needs packages? You know, like, 
better to, I, you know. It's better to return to sender. Exactly. <laughs> Go into a store, you know, greet people, say hi. You know. <laughs> online shopping, but also online shopping is kind I... of the best. Honestly, I'm done with it. Yeah, it's been. <laughs> oh no, online online shopping, yes. But store shopping. Store shopping, no, exactly. I'm done with it. It's most of the time, even when you go to check the website, you're just like, it's you'll, not there. And you exactly, or you don't have a, the size that you want, exactly. the color. You go online and you find everything. Yep. So, and you should actually, I'll get these screwed together, but you actually might even be able to just take them out. I think you might probably be able to just take them out as is. Like once I get these put together. Yeah. And that actually would work out really nice. Yes, I put them things. vertical and I can yeah. move them. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so do that out. help oh I see what's going on this is that one screw that's pushing it out <laughs> so if I do this it's going backwards I believe yeah. oh yeah we're good okay just so I can kind of get it lined up there we go that's Last minute, little minor vacuum. Oh, sorry. Oh. Not fun. Jeez, John. <laughs> it's not like I spent an entire afternoon trying to do this. <laughs> Gosh. More vacuuming. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly where we want it. Okay, time to put the bed. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let's sneak in. Again, the nice thing is it kind of goes in pretty well just on its own. Assuming that's the right position, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, let's, you know, let's not get too far ahead of it. When I pulled the blanket, everything came this way. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, don't worry because it's, it's going to get flat exactly. with weight throughout the days. Switch 
sitting nice and firmly that we want it. Okay, so that's going to fold up, that drops down. Maybe it would, it would have been wiser to put all the bags under already, but you're going to screw things up. I yeah. mean, screw things yeah, exactly. up. <laughs> it's, it's all done now. We're, we're, it's, it's, it's finished. <laughs> Um, no, I see what you mean. It would, well, and we can still... Um, no, I have to back it again. Exactly. I see. I think that there is more room. Yeah, it kind of... It looks like I kind of moved over. Just like uh, maybe I did because oh, I no, was vacuuming. Okay. So I just do... Like that. Yeah, once, oh, we, once we know we're I'm here. so sorry, cutie. Oh, you were behind me, I didn't see you. That's okay, I do it all the time. <laughs> it really does. It's part of me and me. It's part of me. <laughs> made it so you can well with with doing it like this you can take them out with a screwdriver like a regular one or whatever you've kind of got that you can yeah. use Yeah, because it didn't go through the other board. What's that, sorry? It didn't go down. No, 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 no. I was already expecting you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And here we go for the, the trap door, the, the drop bridge, if you will. So that comes up, and technically, if we put even a little bit of a thing in there, we could actually get it so it would rest in. But essentially, now you've got you would have come on by to a <laughs> storage unit. You don't bite. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you've got the whole access to a pocket back there. You've got your center one. So in the kind of the nice thing that sort of the way it ended up, you've kind of got this nice little the zone here where you can uh -huh. kind of store bottles and other things that kind of. You know, that take up space but are a little bit tricky to, to store. Yes. And then you've got access directly to your shoes. Yeah, this is, is going to work out pretty my sweet. My shampoo and conditioner. Exactly. All my hair things. Perfect. Yep, my vitamins are there. And then again, like we might maybe a little bit of cardboard or something just to kind of buffer against that side. Um, kind of along where the center console part is. Um, like kind of just more. Oh, do you think it's needed? Probably not, but I mean, like, it's more just like if it's kind of maneuvering around a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then this guy goes through. So, now you've got to do a quick little test room here. Got a bed! <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Wow. Good. Okay, go grab the mattress and then... What about putting the clothes on oh, first? Oh, clothes, yes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Getting way far ahead of myself. Usually it would leave exactly as you go. And this is my bed. <laughs> we are heading to the storage because I need to make some room. 
there 